Welcome everyone to our video on solution preparation. A common task for chemists is to prepare solutions of precise concentrations. This can be done by starting either with a solid solute and dissolving it into a given volume of water or by diluting a more concentrated solution into a given volume. To measure precisely the volume of a solution, you will be using a volumetric flask. This piece of glassware measures a single volume with a single fill line to indicate that precise point. There are different sizes of volumetric flasks so that various standard volumes can be prepared. First, we are going to look at how to prepare a solution from a solid solute. When preparing a solution from a solid, you must keep in mind two objectives. First, you want to get all of the solute dissolved. Second, whenever you are transferring the solute or solution from one container to the next, you want to get all of the solute transferred. The first step in all solution preparation is to clean the glassware properly. To make a solution for quantitative use, we must ensure that all chemicals and soap are rinsed away properly. First, wash your glassware with soap and water. Next, rinse with tap water. Finally, rinse three times with deionized water. Be sure to turn the glassware as you rinse so that all sides of the glassware are rinsed well. As you pour the deionized water out, turn the glassware so that all sides are rinsed again. These rinses ensure that all ions that were present in tap water are rinsed away. For this lab, you will need to clean and rinse one stir rod, one scoop, one 250 milliliter beaker, one plastic weighing boat, one volumetric flask, and one funnel. After all of your equipment is clean, your next step is to weigh the solute. Use the plastic weighing boat and record precisely the mass from the electronic balance. Next step is to dissolve the solute. Put a small amount of deionized water into your 250 milliliter beaker. Do not put in too much as you want to use the minimum amount of water needed to get the solute dissolved. Carefully pour the solute into the beaker. Rinse the weighing boat three times. Stir the solution to dissolve the solute. Once you have dissolved the maximum amount of solute in that volume of water, you are going to decant the solution into the volumetric flask. When decanting, we want to transfer the dissolved solute in solution, but leave the, any undissolved solute in the, uh, in the beaker. To do this, place the glass stir rod across the top of the beaker. 
hook two fingers on top of the stir rod to hold it in place. With your other hand, lift the funnel slightly so a seal does not form. This prevents the solution from building up in the funnel. Decant the solution into the volumetric flask by pouring slowly. The glass stir rod will allow a stream to form and prevent splashing. Be careful not to allow any undissolved solute into the volumetric flask. When you are done, repeat the procedure. Add more deionized water, stir to dissolve, and then decant. As you repeat this process, you must be careful not to add too much water for the dissolving process, as you might go over the fill line in your volumetric flask. You can do this by being mindful of how much water you are adding. After all of the visible solute has been dissolved and transferred into your volumetric flask, rinse the beaker three times with deionized de water and pour that rinse into the volumetric flask. Next, you are going to fill the volumetric flask with deionized water. Remember, there is only a single fill line so that if you fill above the line, you will not know the concentration of your solution. While lifting the funnel to avoid a seal, add deionized water. While filling the bulb, you can add fairly quickly, but slow down when you get to the neck of the volumetric flask. It fills very fast especially with a smaller volumetric flask, so you need to go very slowly. Using the deionized water squirt bottles, fill the neck slowly. When you are within a centimeter of the fill line, begin adding water drop by drop. The easiest way to do this is by squirting some water onto the stir rod and allow the drop to fall off the end and into the flask. As you approach the fill line, position yourself so that the fill line is directly at your eye level. You will know that you have reached this point when the fill line on the opposite side of the neck disappears and you only see a single line straight across. When water is in a container, it forms a curved line called a meniscus. It kind of looks like a smile that is more pronounced the smaller the diameter of the container. You have reached the desired volume when the bottom of the meniscus curve is just barely touching the bottom of the fill line. You can see the bottom of the curve below the fill line. You, can, you still need to add water. If you can see a space between the fill line and the curve, you have overfilled the volumetric flask. If you overfill the volumetric flask and this solution is being used for a quantitative experiment, you must restart as once you've gone over the fill line, you no longer know the precise concentration.